times, it might be easy to think that children's toys from a century ago are outdated, but it seems we'd be wrong. It has been at least 100 years since building blocks were first mass produced and marketed, and even today, child experts say that they remain the foundation of a good education, helping with everything from hand-eye coordination to communication skills. Breakfast, Jenny Hill can tell us more. Would you like this one, Grace? Give this girl a building block, you'll end up with a fairy castle. interested in how children interact with these kind of toys but research now going on in the north of England is expected to find what they already suspect here that this kind of play is crucial to a child's early development. Through the research that we've done it's shown that schools that have had the blocks their children have done significantly better than children that haven't so mathematical development, creative development and social development as well. It's a hundred years since building blocks were first mass-produced, designed to teach youngsters to generate, concentrate, and communicate. And they're still going strong in this household. Perhaps it's no wonder Mum works at a children's museum. It's probably even more important these days with so much technology that children do have opportunities to explore the real world and while sort of you know the, the IT has its place um, you can't replace the importance of having that real connection in terms of um, developing so many skills that will um, prepare you for life. Back at the nursery a whole development of castles is almost complete. I was going to build a beautiful castle but now changing mind is more beautiful there. Experts believe play like this will improve children's spatial and social awareness and even boost language and motor skills. Of course, for Gracie and her friends, there's only really one outcome that matters. Jenny Hill, BBC News, Ellesmere Court. Just before nine o'clock, we're going to speak to an early years expert.